In November of 2021, the Montreal Canadiens decided to fire Marc Bergevin. I remember it like it was yesterday. Jeff Molson decided nine years was enough, so what did he do? He brought in Big Bad Jeff Gordon and named him the executive vice president of the Canadiens. Gordon took one look at the lineup and said, this is dirty. What are we gonna do to clean up all of this dirt? <sighs> yes, of course. It's a great idea. Mr. Clean himself was named the 18th general manager of the Montreal Canadiens to clean up this mess. It was a match made in heaven. And this new management team would be given the green light to do something that many Habs fans had never seen before in their lifetimes. Rip the old Bergy <laughs> band-aids off and rebuild the team from the ground up. They sold ravioli to Calgary, Turkey to Colorado, shit to Florida, sorry Ben. Kool-Aid to Edmonton and stocked up on draft picks and young reclamation projects like Kirby Doc and Alex Newhook to make the team young, fast, and powerful. Then at the 2022 draft, they would make a big splash, not just from picking Uri Slavkovsky first overall, no, but also by picking up some solid prospects like Lane Hudson, who was proudly drafted using the pick that they received from the Kulak trade, Owen Beck, Philip Majer, and the list goes on and on. They absolutely crushed it in 2022. Fast forward a year later and they would make some interesting decisions in the 2023 draft. Picking popcorn, David Reinbecker at fifth overall, adding a brand new Jack Eye to complete the Legion of Doom and just cornering the goalie market. Yeah, they didn't bring in multiple big names like they did the year before, but there was still some additions and here is how to rebuild is shaping up so far. I'm going to show you every player that will likely be in the Hebs lineup next season under the age of 25. And as you can see, there's quite a few baby faces. The names that you see in red are the ones that was brought in by Kent Hughes himself. And as of right now, there's about eight forwards that will likely suit up for Montreal next season that are all 25 years old or younger. Wow, that's over half of the forward group. And if you look closely, Pazin is the only guy on this list that's 25. Harvey Bedard is the only guy on the list that's 24. So they've got a really young team cooking and I love it. Let's move on to some defensemen now. And this is the area of the team that I consider stacked. I think it's safe to say we're going to see four of these guys right here make it into the lineup next season. I'm talking Goo, Harris, Black Eye, and Baron, who are all just crazy young moving into year number two of their young NHL careers and that makes up two thirds of the blue line and that's not even including 26 year old Honda Civic who's got a lot of gas left in the tank as well. So in total, out of a possible 18 spots in the lineup next season, the Habs could realistically ice 12 players that are uh, 25 years old or younger. And again, Pizzetta is the only guy on this list that's 25. So I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I am pumped. I'm excited to see all these guys develop under guys like Marty St. Louis and Adam Nicholas and friends. And these are just the young players that I consider NHLers already because there's also a group of young kids that are getting really close. You can make an argument for a lot of these guys. Let's take a look starting with defenseman once again. Logie Bear Mayu is really close to being ready. I'm expecting an announcement any minute now that Gary Bittman has finally released his voice scripts from Logan's Nuts. It's got to be painful. Lane Hudson, he's going to be playing in the NHL and he's going to be a stud, mark my words. David Reinbacker, who was picked fifth overall, looks promising. Adam Ingstrom is one of the most underrated defense prospects that the Habs have right now. And William Trudeau might just be even more underrated than Adam Ingstrom. The guy crushed it in Laval last season and he's only 20 years old, man. Jaden Struball is a hammer amongst nails, and in for forwards, there's Riley Kidney, Joshua Wah, Owen Big, Sean Farrell, and of course, dude, where's Mijar? Again, this list is in no particular order, but I feel like every single one of these guys has a legitimate shot of cracking the team one day. Not all of them are going to make it, but some of them will, and when they do, our Habs are going to be wheeling and dealing. Look. 
I know fans sometimes can get a little crazy during a rebuild. My god, I do too. Everybody wants it over yesterday. But let me tell you, getting good takes time. And I feel like the Habs got some really solid pieces in the system right now. I think the defense dipped is in a world of its own. And hopefully in the 2024 draft, they managed to get their hands on a talented young forward. So let me know your thoughts on the rebound so far. How close is the rebound to being finished right now? Let me know in the comment section. If you're still listening at this point in the video, then hey, that's pretty cool. Don't forget to drop kick the like button on the way out of here. And hey, well, see you next time.